Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you my first ever Kyosho diecast car that I bought and this is a Porsche 935. So Kyosho's come in these little boxes and you can see the other models they've made versions of. Boom, 935 and on the back they show you a mini picture of what they look like which is very handy if you want to get the whole collection some Japanese writing here, website here, and yep, yeah, that's about it, so let's have a look inside, okay, let's take a look at this, so what we've got here, okay, so we've got the rest of the other cars in the series, And maybe a few facts about the car, some CCs and all that stuff. Great stuff. And I was looking for one in the Martini livery. Let's see how good this is. So I heard a lot of positive reviews about Kyosho cars. Slide this open. There we go. And it's on a base. So while it's on the base, let's just take a look around this vehicle. And I'm going to be honest, the main reason I bought this vehicle was I was looking for something close to Transformers G1 Jazz. And this is about as close as I could find, really. Um, so here we go, I've got the orange part of the front. And this forms part of Jazz's chest. Here, this is in the Martini livery, Martini Racing number one. And that's just painted on. There's no, it's not an actual punctured grill. Plastic lights at the front, nice touch. I've got this complex contoured pattern which must have been quite annoying to print on, but they've done pretty good. Got the Martini label very clearly there. Bilstein, Dunlop, Martini Porsche, massive spoiler here. And that is, that feels plastic, so I don't wanna ruin that by just flexing it too much. Shells, here's the back. Plastic for the lights on the back, which is really cool. And the other side, which is similar. So, symmetrically, that looks great. I've hit that right on. Got the wide body at the back and the vents on the side. And that looks really cool. can see through the back too, which is great. This doesn't feel particularly strong if I'm honest. It feels a bit like a Norev car. So this is just a collector's model, definitely not a toy that you want to play with. A bit of squeak there. Okay, let's take this off and examine it further. Okay. Careful here. I do not want to mess this up. And usually, when I take this off, I'll squeeze the metal parts of the vehicle. Sometimes I don't want to push on the top. Let's place that there for now and keep the rest of it safe. Great, okay, let's get this spinning round. Actually, let me let me show you a close-up. Let's see what the bottom looks like. Okay, so we've got some details on the bottom. Made in China, 164 Porsche 935, plastic base, 
Mm, I think for the price I paid for this, I would expect a metal base, so it was a bit disappointing. What's this? Rubber? Yeah, that's rubber. Okay. But yeah, it's quite fragile. I would like a along along with this, maybe like a Hot Wheels sturdy version. And that'll be fine as well, just to you know have a out and about. Let's get this spun round. But yeah, what I can say about this diecast car is, you know, all of the printed kind of designs on it, you know, really, uh, yeah, it is a great miniature version of the racing car. I really like this wide body contour around with the vents. This Porsche looks fantastic. So yeah, I do recommend this, especially if you're a, you know, serious collector and looking for some uh, a Porsche 935. Uh, yeah, definitely recommended. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a like. Uh, comment down below if you've got a similar vehicle. And um, yeah, subscribe for more reviews.